Well, hey there, it's Sandy Alnock. And before we get started, I want to warn you, the quality of this video is pretty much what you're seeing here. A lot of things got cut off because the dogs just kept moving. But we're going to do some art together, all three of us. The first step in getting the dogs to feel like artists was to dress them like artists. And I found these hair chalks and I just thought they looked like so much fun. So I bought them and started drawing on the dogs with them. And Diallo just thought it was something to eat. He wasn't really sure what was going on. He's never had anybody try to draw on him before. But this little guy still had paint on him from my big painting sessions that I've had recently. You can even see a little bit of that still in his ear. He was in need of a bath and the pens just seemed like a good excuse to give both dogs baths because I'm having company this weekend and I wanted to make sure they were all clean and looking beautiful. So I really hope all of this comes out. The last thing I want to do is have remnants of stains on my dogs when I have company. Giella just wasn't quite sure if he was supposed to eat this or not, but then he started getting into it. He said, okay, do my paw. And when I finished with one paw, he did his normal, you know, trading, taking turns with the paws. And he gave me his other paw and said, mom, do that one. So he was semi-cooperative, but he, you know, he's just looking for a cookie. That's really what his big deal was because I had some in my shirt pocket and he was just waiting for the moment when he did whatever penalty he had to do in order to get a cookie. So he ended up with rainbow eyebrows above him in a whole bunch of different colors, which looked hysterically funny. And then I was trying to figure out if he's a boy, what should he have for his main big deal? And I decided he was going to get a mohawk, a rainbow mohawk in a bunch of different colors down his back. And this part he liked. I think he thought he was being pet or groomed or something because he was very tolerant of this and just sat there and behaved himself nicely. He's going to regret it when it gets to bath time. But next up was Vienna's turn. She's not as cooperative. She does not like to be made to stand on grass. She will walk across grass anytime at her own pace. But if you say, Vienna, come over here, she's like, no, I'm not going to. She also, I think, does not like being on camera because you'll see that when we get to another part, she just didn't want to be filmed while she was doing her artwork. But she did finally tolerate coming over so I could put some of her polka dots on there. And I want to have two votes in the comments section. So leave me a comment and tell me which one of them wore the color better. Which one looks cuter? I think they're both kind of silly and adorable and they both got cookies. So they were very pleased with getting cookies. Next up was the second part of our art venture, and that was to get these canvases painted. I got these at a local big box store, and they were like 70% off. And between that and the paints that I bought that were like four bottles of paint for $5, this whole project cost me like not even 10 bucks for the entire supplies for everything here. So we got some Jif peanut butter. Giallo loves his peanut butter. And he had to snack on some to just try it out because he had to make sure that it was going to be good if we were going to do some painting and include some peanut butter in there. So he had to do the taste test. And that's my boy. He's always looking for a taste test of anything. And then I took some of the peanut butter and slathered it over top of the area where one of the canvases is going to be inside the bag. And I wanted to make sure that I put enough peanut butter so they'd be able to spread the paint around once they started working. So we got two of those ready. And then it was time to get the paints out. And these are just little cheapo crafty paints. I didn't know how much to put on. Like, was it going to be too much? Was it not going to be enough? I didn't want to not have enough paint on there. So I opted for more paint rather than not enough paint. They took forever to dry because there was so much paint on here. But I was going to try to see if Giallo could do a rainbow. And I thought one of them being a rainbow would be kind of fun for the month of June. And I slid it back in there and landed it right under where the peanut butter is. And I set that one aside so that I could get the second one ready. 
as this would be Giallo's. And then Vienna's, she's just such a little lover girl that I decided she would have a heart. So kind of started with the yellow in the middle and then putting all the other colors around it to make a rainbow heart. Again, slathered on more paint than I needed because, <laughs> you know, got to be sure I didn't want to mess it up and then have to start all over again or something because I didn't buy more canvases for them. And then slipped that one into the second peanut butter bag. And Vienna was not ready to paint quite yet. So the first one to get started with the painting was going to be Giallo. Because, you know, you give him peanut butter, you have to give him permission. But as soon as he's got permission, he will not stop until every single bit of it is gone. And he just went bonkers on it. He was having so much fun. It's like, look at all of this snackers, man. He loves when he gets a big old spoonful of peanut butter for being a good boy. He doesn't know that sometimes that's where he gets his pills. And speeding up a dog licking peanut butter is just kind of hilarious because <laughs> that's not at all how fast they lick things. But it looks pretty cute anyway. I had hopes for the painting because the bag still looked like a rainbow. And I wasn't sure how that was going to play out, but decided to uh, not open the painting out here in the outside or else somebody might try to lick the paint. So we'll save that for just a few minutes. I finally went over to Vienna because she wanted to lay on the concrete here and then she didn't even want to eat it when I put her painting down in front of her. So I realized she just didn't want to be watched. So we went and sat in a chair off to the side and ignored her sort of ish so that she got all excited about her efforts in painting. And Giallo got some extra snuggles while he, we were waiting for Vienna to get her painting done. And she kept taking breaks to lick her chops and then going back to her painting and then taking breaks. She's just slow. She's a slow eater and everything, just like she's a slow painter. Giallo's always waiting for her, but at least he didn't argue with her and try to take her painting away from her because I wondered if he would try that. Look at all that spectacular color. A little heart between his eyes. Look at her go. So Vienna finally got closer to being done there. Got all of her peanut butter licked off. And it didn't look much like a heart anymore. But when I got them inside, I probably should have tried to lift the paint more directly because I ended up dragging it a bit. So we lost any shape of rainbow that might have been there at one point. But it still looks really cool. I like the swooshes of paint and this one again I didn't lift it up enough and it did just a smoosh but it came out really pretty too very subtle the way Vienna is. I had such a good time with my pups doing these and I hope you'll try it with yours because yeah it's fun and they love peanut butter. So who had the better technique was it Giallo and his fast-paced painting or Vienna and the slow burn with all the resting in between who do you identify with more? Leave a comment and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already because there's more fun coming up next week. You might see these paintings and where they end up getting hung in my house. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.